In this video, I'm going to show you how to change a trigger in the FT12 and FT50 rental marker. First, we have to disassemble the marker and we begin with the removal of the barrel and then the barrel nut Once that's removed, you can lift off the top of the receiver. And now we want to remo remove the internals. So we'll take the drive spring, guide pin, buffer o-ring, set that aside, the linkage arm, the rear bolt comes out, and then the power tube valve body and front bolt can come out and then simply lift out the trigger group this whole assembly to remove the trigger we have to open up the trigger assembly this trigger group so on the right side there's a wire clip and you just slide that up and then you can remove the left hand side of the trigger group. Set that aside. So this is the trigger and this is what we're going to change. So go ahead and take the trigger linkage off, pull the safety, then watch out for the trigger spring, it can shoot out. So be careful when you take the trigger out. All right, ask the trigger. We'll set that aside. And we'll put in the new trigger. Make sure your trigger spring's in position. And then set the new trigger in. And go ahead and put the safety back in. You'll notice there's a red o-ring and a black o-ring. You want to go black o-ring down. Put the linkage arm back on. Like so. And then the left hand side of the trigger group can get snapped back on. Just snaps together and then clip the wire retaining clip back into position on the right side and that is the trigger group reassembled and now we'll go ahead and put it back into the marker it slides in the back end in first and then drops down into position now we can put the power tube valve assembly and front bolt back in then the rear bolt, the linkage arm, it's always tricky. You want to get it lined up with the rear bolt, the front bolt, and then there's three little tabs that the linkage arm slides on. And then slide in your drive spring, guide pin, and buffer, buffer o-ring. That just floats in there. Go ahead and put your receiver top back on. Screw on the barrel nut and you'll know it's on when it clicks. It snaps into position. And then go ahead and screw the barrel back in. And that's how you change a trigger in the FT12, FT50 rental marker.